643 this morning and you know it's really cold when you've got wintry precipitation showing up in Texas. There have been reports of some sleet coming down between San Antonio and Austin. So we think that the radar is right on indicating though it's trying to show snow showing up. I've not got any reports of that. It seems to be all ice pellets, those tiny little ice balls that fall out of the sky, but it's well to the north. In fact, I haven't any reports of sleet on the south side of San Antonio. It's all been on the north side and south of there. It is just too warm for anything but rain. And though our temperatures are still in the process of dropping, it's not going to get cold enough uh, where that sleet's going to fall because that's where temperatures are in the 30s. We're not going to be seeing temperatures drop that much today. It's going to be a cloudy day and the showers are going to continue with us. Now, the best chance of rain is this morning. I still think the chance of showers could shift a little bit to the east towards Karen Wilson County, but overall more rain. It looks like in the upper valley, at least for the morning commute before the showers start to slide to the east by the end of the morning commute. Notice that as we go through the day, the rain tries to back off a little bit, but it doesn't completely go away. There's one o'clock and then by five o'clock, the homebound commute looking drier than the morning commute, but I can't guarantee that everybody's going to stay dry. Notice some dots of green still showing up and it looks like the rain's going to start coming back this evening and showers are going to be moving back and we're not going to get the rain out of here uh, anytime soon because guess what? We jumped through tomorrow morning. Uh, there's still some showers around tomorrow afternoon. Yes, still some showers. Now it's not going to rain all the time. There are going to be breaks but chances are you're going to catch multiple rounds of light rain uh, and everybody in the valley is going to end up seeing rain at some point, uh, but all light rain, no flooding concerns to worry about. Uh, and notice Saturday night, we're still dealing with showers. In fact, there could be a couple more showers early Sunday morning, still real cloudy, but look at Sunday afternoon. It dries out and I actually think the clouds thin some. We get a little bit of sunshine in here. The wind shift back to the south and we'll be back around 70 degrees. But until then, it is going to be quite cold. We're going to see temperatures drop into the mid 40s this afternoon and that's where we're going to be staying. Our temperatures continuing to drop through the morning hours. Uh, winds will come down a little bit, but not much. They're going to be gusting around 25 for much of the day. So when our temperatures are in the mid 40s, wind chills are going to be in the upper 30s. And I think it might get a little bit worse tonight because temperatures will keep dropping to around 41. At that point, when our winds are gusting around 20, wind chills could reach the low 30s tonight. And guess what? We're still going to be dodging showers as well, and it's still going to be cloudy. Now let's talk about the rest of the weekend. Not much change for tomorrow. It's going to be basically a repeat of today. We're just going to start out a little bit colder in the low 40s and only recover to the mid 40s in the afternoon. It's still going to be breezy, so the wind chill uh, when we're in the mid 40s is going to be around 40 degrees and there's still going to be showers around some breaks, but showers will be around through Saturday night. But Sunday, big change coming, just a few showers in the morning and then a little bit of sun comes out in the afternoon. The winds, uh, they shift from the north back to the south, so that gets us back to around 70 degrees in the afternoon. So it's still what we've been saying, a 50 50 weekend. Do the indoor stuff for tomorrow and then on Sunday you can venture out and do some stuff outside because that rain chance will be coming to an end. Actually, it's a warm front lifting over a Saturday night, so our temperatures will slowly rise. I think a Saturday night into the low 50s to start Sunday and being around 70 in the afternoon. Believe it or not, it looks like the low 80s on your first warm five accurate weather forecast for Monday and 72 for Tuesday, but the rain chance is coming back. Another cold front comes in back to the 60s for Wednesday, but warming up just in time for Valentine's Day back to the upper 70s. One more news right after this break.